This is a short presentation on how XMPro connect business processes to smart devices and the Internet of Things. At the end of the video, there is a link to a white paper where we explain the architecture and more of the steps that we show in the demo. We'll start off by accessing the device itself through its own internal software, the onboard software, and in this instance, we connect to the device and it'll start reading data and log that to our XMPro time series database that sits in the cloud. Um, by adjusting the dials on the device itself we now simulate uh, the um, environment and in this instance we've set the alert at 85 degrees the gauge on the left is uh, is reading temperature and once it exceeds the level of 85 it actually creates a new task it, set, it, cre it triggers an alert in the database and that creates a new task inside XM Pro. Now all those data points in this instance is, are saved every six seconds to the time series database that's set in the cloud. We will now access uh, XM Pro and in this instance Keith Miller receives a, an email from uh, the f from the from the system uh, with an alert and there's a group task so there might be multiple people doing this in this instance Keith will log in you'll see that it's a um, failover of a shutdown value and it's a, tr it's a temperature that has triggered this and by uh, assigning this task to himself it'll remove it off the other people who are on the um, uh, service team or, or team that can respond to this. This is a typical XM Pro form and in this instance we're showing the information from the time series database on the screen. What you'll see is that alert point is the one on the right hand side. That's the one that triggered this specific response here. The, one, the spike caused the task to be started. Information is also matched to the back end so the ERP system, the asset management system so that we know exactly which device we're looking at. Nice thing is we can connect back at this point in time onto the device so we can get more information and once again any changes or anything that happens on the device immediately available. The nice thing is we can now look at the temperature um, with some of the other sensors that are on the device itself. Uh, next we want to control some of the things on the device itself so we want to switch things off, we want to switch things on, we want to change values, we may for example want to, s to set the temperature um, on a, on a um, uh, air conditioning unit or switch or change the dosage on a smart dosing pump for agriculture or something like that. So we can also access device from within XM Pro. Now when we get to XM Pro functionality itself around hand handling the tasks uh, there's a couple of there's a couple of predefined tasks but I want to start an ad hoc task at this point in time. I want to uh, I want them to have a look at the maintenance schedules that we currently have against this and potentially review them or change them. Now this is what we call an ad hoc task, it's not a predefined task and I can link it into the order trail or history or transaction history of this. So now this will put a task on Tim's to-do list next for him to review this. So it's a physical task that now appears for him. Um, and looking at the data that I see there, that spike in the graph, I might even want to have a discussion with uh, one of my peers with a supplier specialist or someone like that and that is not, this is not a task but it's a discussion so we have some collaboration instead of breaking out into email I actually do it from within XM Pro and I have the full so, um, history of that so if I look at the history you can see the order trail where the alert started there's an ad hoc task there's a discussion and as we step through this this work and we add additional work items to it it will build up the order trail and inside the order trail I can see the discussion for example. Next we will um, be able to do specific tasks uh, and those tasks can be integrated like the, the work order can be integrated into the ERP system or any one of the other back-end systems that we may have. This is a very quick demonstration. If you want more information there is the white paper referred to or contact us.